Today, we're going to be talking about adding a lumber rack. Now, I've already got a lumber rack in a different location, but here I am going to change it over to the opposite side of the shop. Now, before I can do that, I've got to add in a piece of plywood to this brick wall to be able to give me something to mount the lumber rack to. Uh, and I already had French cleats in this area at one time, so I just reused the holes that I had. It already had anchors in them, and so it worked out perfect. So I just had to put the piece of plywood on the brick, and that allowed me to screw half of this rack to this plywood that I'm mounting now. The other half of the plywood, or excuse me, other half of the lumber rack mounted into the studs that are in the wall just right above the brick that you can see in this scene. Uh, and what this is, the end of my house, my shop is added on to the end of my house. And so I've got an exterior uh, brick wall of my house as one of the interior walls of my shop. Assembling the lumber rack was very easy. The black piece that you see is the vertical piece of the lumber rack and there are pre-drilled holes in the length of this. And so there are some screws that come with this and you just insert those into the pre-drilled holes and then you slide a orange piece on down to where the screw is. The orange pieces are the horizontal support pieces. Now they have a little notch out and one part of the arm. And as you can see in this scene, that little notch out is what's gonna rest against the screw that I just installed. So each screw is installed onto the black vertical piece and then the orange support piece is slid down onto that black piece down to the screw. Very, very easy. When mounting this lumber rack to the wall, there are a few things you wanna keep in mind. Number one, you have spacers included with, included with this lumber rack system. The spacers go between the black vertical piece that you see there and the wall. And what these spacers do is keeps the, the lumber rack off the wall just a little bit so the orange support pieces can rest in place uh, as designed. Now, also, you want to come down a little bit from the ceiling because if you mount this all the way up, you're not going to be able to utilize that top rung. And then the third thing to keep in mind is to keep this level as you secure all three screws. And then once you have all three screws in place, this thing should be ready to go. I mentioned keeping each vertical piece level as you secure the screws, but you also want to make sure that you mount each vertical piece at the same height. And this will keep each rung at the same level, so when you have lumber on the rack, it'll keep everything nice and flat. Now, this was a really good chance for me to go through and clean everything that I had as far as lumber on the rack, throw away some things that I didn't need, and so I cleaned up everything, and then I started just loading this lumber rack up. Uh, I was really getting into like, you know, separating the different species and uh, adding in, you know, different uh, size wood and just kind of making it look kind of cool. Uh, kind of like a backdrop. Now some of this wood is a little bit uneven and that's why you see double stickers here. Uh, but that's just the wood, that's not the rack. But this thing it turned out to be great. And now I can take down the old lumber rack that you see there. And now I've got a perfect place to add in some more storage. Now to take this a little bit further in my organization and storage uh, mission that I'm on, I'm putting together here a plywood cart from Rockler. Rockler supporting this video and so this is one of the carts made by Rockler. It's really really cool so you can use this thing to unload plywood uh, out of the vehicle and bring it into the shop or you can you know use this as a an outfeed or infeed uh, assist and just imagine this being a full sheet of plywood here. Uh, you can see how this works so you can kind of tilt this down take it through a, a narrow door or take it to the place that you store your plywood from uh, so it's really, really cool. Now, also, they, they have this the Gorilla Grip. And so you just kind of lay it on the plywood edge, pick it up with one hand, and it's really, really easy. I was surprised how easy this was. But this cart is just really functional. So you can add a piece of plywood to the top of this thing and have a, uh, a work surface for a bench top tool or just use this, like I said, as an in-feed or an out-feed assist. Be sure to check out my website article. I've got it linked down in the description of this video. I'll go into more details about this project. 
If you are not subscribed to my channel, I want to also encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. And hit that like button, leave me a comment, and I would love to see you back here again. Thanks for watching.